Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to estimate the uh, mortar needed to lay um, some brick. Alright, so what you need to do when laying brick is first of all you have to get your brick and decide how big your joint is going to be. Alright, so I got, I'm got i going to use a half inch joint. So the bed joint and the head joint are going to be a half an inch. Alright, the height of the brick is two and five eighths inches. The length of the brick is nine and a half inches and it's two and three quarter inches deep. All right, so I'm going to take, I want to find the area that it will take to cover all of this. So I'm going to take two and three quarter inches times the length. So I need to add, because I'm going down and up, so I need to know that distance. So I added it over here and that's 12 and 1 8 inches. Okay, and then I need to know the thickness of my joint, so that's a half an inch. So I'm going to multiply these together and figure out how many cubic inches of sand that I need. Okay, so 2 ABC3 ABC4 times 12. ABC1, ABC8 times 1, ABC2 equals, I get a fraction of 16 and 43 over 64 cubic inches. Okay, now if I wanted to change that to a decimal, just take 43 divided by 64 and I get 0.67. So I get 16.67 cubic inches. Okay. So I need 16.67 cubic inches of mortar to cover, to do the bed joint and the head joint on each brick. Okay. So now what I need to know is how many brick I'm going to lay. So let's say I'm doing a project and I have now let's give a round number, let's say a thousand brick to lay, okay? So then I'm just going to take a thousand, I'll take a thousand brick times 16.67 cubic inches per brick and I will get 16.67 times 1,000 equals, I get 16,670 cubic inches, okay? Now, when figuring this, I'm, like I said, I'm figuring sand, because sand makes up most of the volume of your mortar. What happens is, you have the, the sand is just little rocks that the sand is clean, so there's no dirt or anything in there, so it's just the little rocks. And what the, the cement water mix does is it, it coats all of those little stones with mortar, and then it, it fills in all the voids. So you get, you know, you get a solid, a solid mass when you get done, okay? So, we need 16,670 cubic inches. So if we wanted to convert that into um, cubic yards, we would figure out how many cubic inches are in a cubic yard. So 36 times 36 times 36 gives me 46,656 cubic inches in a cubic yard, okay? So then I would divide this by 46,656 and that would tell me how many cubic yards I need. If I wanted cubic feet, then I would figure out how many inches are in a foot. So in 12, 12, 12, so 12, times 12 times 12 gives me 1,728 cubic inches in a cubic foot, 
okay? So if I wanted this number in cubic feet, then I would take 1,600, 670, and I would divide by 1,728. So 16670 divided by 1,728 would give me 9.65 cubic feet of sand. Okay? Now, once you figured out how much sand you're going to use, you can easily find the, the, um, the amount of cement that you're going to use because they go in ratios. So, um, for a load-bearing wall, if my brick was going to be a load-bearing wall, I would probably mix it at a ratio of one to three. So, for every three scoops of sand, I need one scoop of cement. For every three cubic feet of sand, I would need one cubic foot of cement, okay? So that's how that would go. So once you figured this out, all you have to do is you can divide this by three, and you would need 3.21 cubic feet of cement, okay? So you need 3.21 cubic feet of cement with 9.65 cubic feet of sand. So that the, the cement would just coat the little pebbles and then fill in all the voids. So you really don't get a whole lot of volume with that, but it will give you a little bit more. Um, then if you want to add for waste, you could add for waste because you got all these holes in here where mortar is going to get into all these holes. So you may, if there's four holes, you may use uh, another cubic inch of mortar per hole. So if you got four holes, it's four cubic inches. If five holes, you got five cubic inches. So for one brick, instead of having 16.67, you may have to add five cubic inches per brick because it's going to fill in these holes. And then if it's up against a wall, you're always going to have squeeze out on the inside. So you want to add some more for that, okay? So you could add, you could add here at the beginning. So you got 1667 for the joint. You got 15 or five for the holes, and maybe add another five. So you got 16.67 plus five plus five. So now you're at 26.67 cubic inches per brick, okay? Um, if it's a load bearing wall. Now if it's a if it's a non-load bearing wall, it's just a fascia uh, a facade, you could go to maybe one to six or maybe one to five. Then you would go back here with your cubic feet of sand and divide it by six or five and then it would give you the amount of cement that you need. Then you add water. You add water to whatever you like you know, what consistency you like the, your mud at. Some like it a little bit soupier than others, okay? Or, you know, depends on the weather. So you may have to add, you know, a half a gallon of water for every scoop of sand with, or three scoops of sand with one scoop of cement and a half a gallon of water or something, okay? Once you figure out what you want your mix at for water, then you just remember that and add that amount each time you do it. Okay, so that's an easy way of figuring out how much mortar you would need for laying brick.